Okay, we want to use logarithmic differentiation. So it's something we haven't talked about yet. So we'll describe it here, the, the process. Now this process, normally, you would have to do a chain rule and a product rule combined together. But I want to show you an alternative method, since we just talked about logarithms. There's an alternate way that you can do this problem. So either way you want to do that, you want to definitely uh, write this as powers. So this is the same thing as x times x minus 4, all that raised to the one-third uh, power because you have a cube root there. And this can also be written as x to the one-third times x minus 4 to the one-third. So at that point, you could jump into product rule and do product rule combined with chain rule, but we want to do this with logarithmic differentiation, so let me show you how this works. With this, you're going to apply a log to both sides. So we're going to take the natural log of both sides, just like that. And you're allowed to do that as long as you do the same thing on both sides. Now in this form, we're going to take the derivative of both sides. But the nice thing about using natural log is natural log will allow us to break this up by using the powers. So I'm still going to keep this as uh, L and a Y. On this side, I could do natural log of x to the one-third plus natural log of x minus four to the one-third. And then I can bring the powers down in front by using law properties. So one-third natural log x plus one-third natural log x minus four. So I can bring the one-third down in front of both of those. So natural log allowed me to do that. So now what I'll do is I'm going to take the derivative of both sides of the equation. Now, let's look at the left-hand side. I want to do the derivative of ln y. The, the way that works is I'm going to use the, the property u primed over u. In this case, I have a, a y there. That means that that derivative is going to be y primed over y. So instead of u primed over u, I have y primed over y. That's the derivative of the left-hand side. Okay, so I have y prime, that's the derivative of y right there. Let's do the derivative of this part. Okay, so for this one, I have a one-third times ln of x is just going to be one over x, that's the derivative. This next one over here, I have a one-third. And then for this one, this goes in the bottom, x minus four. On top, the derivative of x minus four is just going to be a one. So I get y primed over y equals 1 over 3x plus 1 over 3 times x minus 4. Now, to get the answer, I need to multiply this by a y because I want to get the derivative of y by itself. I'm solving for that because that's the question it's asking me for. We want to find the derivative. So y primed, if I multiply both sides, I get y times 1 over 3x plus 1 over 3 times x minus 4, just like that. So the y, we're just going to put in the original one that we had. So y prime is going to be the cube root of x times x minus 4, all that, and then times all this. And we don't need to worry about foiling all that out. We can leave our answer in that form. So again, we, uh, we've, we turned it into powers. We applied an ln on both sides, which allowed us to break this down by using log properties. Then we do the derivative of both sides. Derivative of the left-hand side, again, was y primed over y, using the formula, and then we did the derivative of each of these separately. Once we got down to here, we have to solve for y prime, which means we multiply both sides of the equation by y, so we can cancel it out from here. We get that, we put the y in, and then we just leave our answer like that in that form. You could get common denominators also, but at this point, I'm just going to leave the answer just like that.